Okay, remember the wafer switch from the uh, STA2300? Well, here it is on the uh, preamp board. This is actually a phonograph preamp. I'm just looking at the, the uh, overall circuit layout and some of the wires going to it, it's clear that it's not the main preamp. The main preamp's on the tone board. But yeah, this is the phonograph uh, EQ and preamp. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to clean one of these wafer switches. If you'll see, let me refocus here. These wafers, you've got little contacts, and then you've got a wafer that spins and contacts different parts of the wafer. Sorry, here, this is a little hard to do with only one hand. But you can clearly see how it works. That little wafer gets caught in those little fingers and it grabs it and it makes contact. Well, in a lot of old equipment, that uh, gets dirty or corroded. And you clean them with this Deoxit D5 in the red banded can. Do not use the green banded can, those are for pots and uh, sliders only. The red banded can is much more aggressive and is better for switches. So all you got to do is spray a little bit. You'll note there's a level adjust. You want it on low, trust me. You get it in there really carefully and you put just enough to just barely wet the switch wafers. And you do that for every single one on both sides. So you go to the other side here, get it in there, and make sure you actually get it into where there's actually an electrical contact. If there's no electrical contact there, there's no point in spraying it. On this side, there's no contact, so I'm gonna go sp spray this side. Well, got a little too much in there. Uh, you want to wipe that up if you're not uh, cleaning the board. You want to wipe it up pretty quick. The goal is not to drown the circuit. The goal is to clean it. Let's see, is there anything on that side? Yeah, a little bit. Get it nice and clean. And I'm going to let that soak for a while. But this gives you a little extra shot of how it works. I don't have very good lighting in here, but unfortunately my cell phone camera is loads better than any other camera I've tried to use. Which I think is hilarious. I've got two decent point and shoots and they do terrible jobs at video. Both of them are absolutely abysmal. I apologize for the uh, last two videos being completely crap. But this one's turning out decently. But yeah. So what are we going to replace on this board? Okay, so this is a Phono EQ. It's your main rail filters here. These are going to be gone. You can see this one's starting to peel away. That one's starting to bulge at the bottom. The rest of them, eh, they're 30 something years old. I'm going to replace them anyway. They're, they're not all that expensive. I mean, it's just good reassurance to the customer and to yourself that you've gotten the most reliable piece of gear possible. I'm also going to uh, clean all this flux off. That flux, um, under certain conditions, can accumulate moisture and it becomes mildly conductive and it can, it can cause noise problems that can even short out stuff but we'll get rid of it we'll clean that board up and put it back in the unit 